I say no drivers trying to wrap your head around that. Does every user space process implement a TCP stack? Yes. Why does that sound bad? Well, let me put it a different way. Does every user space process implement printf? Is that bad? Do you need a driver to implement printf? How do you do hardware abstraction in general? Um, you have an interface that is standardized where you say, I want a DMA to the hardware. And there's a particular protocol over what that packet format is. And you just DMA to the hardware and the hardware DMA is back to you and you're good. No drivers, dude. Drivers need to get out of town. Why do drivers exist? Because people think it's cheaper to do stuff in software than in firmware or hardware. Uh, and they may be right, I don't know. But, um, I mean, the result is an obvious disaster. So we just have to try other things. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy what we have now. Would devs have to do a ton of specific work per kind of graphics card? Um, well, I mean, we already do. So I'm not sure what the question means. We already have to do everything separate for every... API. Like actually the situation might get better because right now, right now, if I want to target an NVIDIA graphics card on a Mac and an NVIDIA graphics card on Windows, I have to program it twice <laughs> like for the same card. Does every process carry driver for the hardware? Um, but that's the thing. Okay, so about the sound card drivers question. Like, sound is, is just solved. Like, it just shouldn't be, there shouldn't be that much to it. Like, if you want to do some special super experimental proto sound, that's fine. But, you know, most programs aren't going to use that until that becomes solved. But, like, streaming, you know, 8.1 samples to sound hardware is pretty much trivial. It's embarrassing how badly it's broken in Linux. And even now in Windows, it's not really broken, but it's embarrassing how complicated they've made it. It's actually very simple. Okay. With 3D sound processing, the solution is to stop pretending like that's a thing. It's not a thing. <laughs> Except in software. There are dozens of Ethernet cards with different protocols. Yeah, but why? It's stupid. Just have one. Just say... If you want to target our operating system, do this or have them be in user space. I'm fine if you want to have a user space program that marshals communication with your Ethernet card. It's just that's going to suck worse than not having that. So I don't recommend it. But if you want that, that's fine. Ideally, all of them would follow the same hard respect, but that is not what we have. I agree that that is not what we have, but like either someone creates impetus for some kind of cleanup or nobody does. You know what I mean? Linux is changing some things up with Pipewire. I don't know what Pipewire is, but anything, anytime something has a name like that, my reflex is that it's going to be terrible. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Maybe it's fine, but like, check out Pipewire. It's like Pulse Audio. It's like, come on, brute, dude. Uh, uh, uh. it's a huge spec that has video stuff in it too i don't want huge specs part of what i want is for the interface the core interface that the operating system implements should be very simple it should be as simple as possible it shouldn't be a big spec so that that is my opinion